Hi guys, welcome back to the Totally Magic channel. Got a nice little packet card effect for you today. Uh, I know that we normally do most of our tricks using a full deck of 52 cards, but this time I decided to use these, the Jokers. Uh, you get these in new packs of cards, most people tend to throw them out. I keep hold of them because they are lucky cards. They're known as wild cards, which means they can represent any card you can imagine. Now, if we take a look at these, I've actually got five face-up jokers. There's one, two, three, four, five. Where did this face down one come from? I could have sworn I put them all face upwards. Well, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just check. Yes, it is another joker. Let's get rid of that. Let's try again. We're going to use four jokers. One, two, three, Four. Now I did say that the jokers were wild, but this is this is going crazy. Keep flipping over. There's another joker there. Let's get rid of that. Let's try it again, shall we? With these, we got one, two, three. This is becoming silly now, isn't it? Three. One of them turning face over. Let's put this down on the table. That makes it easier. We've now just got two jokers. Let's turn them around. Two jokers. This one goes to the back, watch. Cover them up, a little shake. What have we got? Another flip. <laughs> there it is, another joker flipped over. I tell you what, let's get rid of that. That leaves us with a single joker. Now on their own, they can't do much. This can't flip over all by itself. But what it can do is have a magical influence on its colleagues. Imagine the highest card you could get in a game of cards. That's right, aces. And if we just take the four cards on the table, look, the wild cards become the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, and the ace of hearts. There you've got all five cards beautifully laid out and that is a great wild card trick practice and as always enjoy what you do hope you enjoyed that little packet effect i like this because it's something you can carry around with you and just perform it on the fly and kids love the little jokers flipping over and suddenly changing at the end the ending is a real surprise to people they're not expecting that to happen so it's a real kicker but i'm going to show you this trick but it does require a bit of a magician's move in fact two types of moves one of them being a double lift well that's quite easy uh, and there are lots of other youtube videos and i will put links below mine to my own tutorials on this but as you know a double lift is just where you turn two cards over together okay so you have two cards that become one okay that's it so a simple double lift and that's used in this effect the other thing that's used is what's known as an Elmsley count invented by its namesake Alex Elmsley and I always say to people to practice this it doesn't take too long it's not a difficult move uh, again I will put a link to my full tutorial on the Elmsley count below but just for those that haven't seen it very briefly the Elmsley count here I've got four cards let me just turn over the third from the top square them up what you do is as you count one two three four it appears that the face up card isn't there let me show you how that works many ways of holding this when you're learning, I always find it best just to grip the cards at this end and with this thumb, you just slide off the top card, one. Now, as you come back, you're going to do a couple of things. You're going to put this card back under your fingers like that, okay? At the same time, you're going to push with this thumb the top cards now automatically because these fingers are gripping the bottom card whatever's on top goes as one there it is there 
Okay, so let me show you that again. There's the starting position. We do one, two, three, four. Okay, that's an Elmsley count. Now, the final move that we've got is known as the Hammond count. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description below. If you've got a pile of cards here, I've got four face down and loads face up. Watch the count as I go through what the Hammond count is. This will show you more visually for when we get to the packet effect. So, if I square these up, watch. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. You'll notice I swapped over all of those. That is the Hammond count. Do check out the video that shows you this. Uh, if you don't like how I teach it, in the video link below, there's loads of Hammond counts out there that you can um, look up. Now, let's get onto the cards. This is what you need. Four regular aces and one regular joker. You're then going to raid a couple of decks of cards to find two jokers that you're going to glue back to back. Now I know what you guys are saying that that makes that thicker. Yes it does, but you're the only person that's handling these cards. So the audience aren't going to feel the thickness of the card. You're the only one that handles these. I know some of you more experienced magicians out there do things like card splitting where you split a card in half to make it thinner and glue it. If you can do that, do that. I don't bother, I just stick two jokers back to back. There they are there. That's all you need. The stack here is the four races go face down, the regular joker goes face up, and then the double facer goes on top. Square them up. You're gonna start with a Hammond count. So as I count one, two, these two are going to go back underneath, all of these face down cards are going to be counted as one, so let me do that again, okay, one, two, three, four, five, people can see that one of these is face down, actually you've got all four of them, but you then push this out, pull it out, so I've now got an ace here, Put this on top, now to get a double lift, I always push this top double facer across, put this on top, square it up and flip it over and say there is the joker. Flip that down and put that down. You've put an ace down. You now perform the first of many Elmsley counts. You go one, two, three, four, and Elmsley count, just do that. Push this forward because that gives you this card on top that you can get a break under. As you put this on top, square it, flip it over, there's a double there, flip it back over and deal it down. Now the good thing about YouTube videos is that if you miss any of this, watch the performance a couple of times, watch this again a couple of times and you should get it. Now you then perform an Elmsley again. But when you count, you're, you've apparently got three cards here. So what I do is I pull the first card off, then I put it back and then start counting. I go, there's one, two, three. Again, pushing forward the face down card. Pull this out, you're in a perfect situation to get a break. Push that in, turn it over. There's a joker, turn it over, deal that down on there. You're now left with two cards. I tend to flip them so the joker is at the top face in them. You slide off this. This is that double facer. You put it behind halfway and then you just push this forward and then with your finger just pull the top card back. Because you're pushing two forward, you're now pulling back that. You can then turn this over. They see it's a joker. You've got two cards here. Turn that over flip it down and then put this underneath so you've got rid of two cards here put that underneath you're clean here because you just got the single joker you can then just put this under here pick the cards up reveal
the aces by putting them in a fan like this and they're expecting to see the joker last of all but there's two jokers there and it's nice and clean you can show both sides i think it's a, a lovely little effect um, that you can do quite cleanly on there and if you wanted to this top card is a double if you palm that off and go into your pocket to get the box out or something once you got rid of that they will want to examine those and that is the beauty of this particular performance.